Hi and welcome, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a minute to look at the different ways we can change the white balance of our images, as well as learn the difference between the vibrance and saturation sliders. We'll start with white balance. Now, cameras often do a good job at setting the white balance of an image automatically, but there are times when we might want to make small adjustments to add some warmth or maybe some coolness to a photograph in order to change its mood. If we're not sure what direction we want to go, we can use the drop down menu and then select from the different presets on the list. If you're working with files that aren't raw, then this list of options will be much more limited. Now, if we don't find what we want, or if we want to make refinements, we can use the temperature slider to cool down an image by dragging towards blue or warm up an image by dragging towards yellow. If we know that there's something in the photograph that should be a neutral color but isn't, we can select the white balance selector tool. As we position the eyedropper over different areas in the image, we see a preview in the navigator panel of what the resulting image would look like if we were to click in that area. The white balance selector tool also displays a loop of the colors underneath the tip of the eyedropper. When we click in an area, Lightroom Classic will neutralize the color that was clicked on and shift all of the other colors in the image as well. Now the white balance selector tools sample area is dependent on the zoom level. So if you want to zoom in, it will sample on a smaller area. We can use the toolbar in order to auto dismiss the tool. If I enable this, then after clicking in the image area, Lightroom Classic will automatically put the tool back. If I want to quickly select it again, I can tap the W key. We can also choose to hide the loop, or if it's showing, we can change the scale of it. All right, I'll tap the escape key in order to put the tool back. And one shortcut, you can use Command Shift U on Mac or Control Shift U on Windows in order to apply an auto white balance correction. We see in the panel that it set the option to auto. The basic panel also has two sliders to adjust color, vibrance, and saturation. Vibrance is a relative and bias slider. Moving the slider towards negative 100 is going to decrease the amount of saturation relative to how much saturation there was in the color to begin with. Moving the slider towards 100 will increase the relative amount of saturation while trying to avoid pushing the saturated colors to full saturation. This will help minimize clipping colors to the same values as they approach full saturation. The slider is also biased, so it adjusts orange, red, and yellow values less than other colors. In this image, we can see that the blue in the street, as well as the green in the buildings in the background, have their saturation significantly increased as I move the slider to the right, much more so than the yellow or orange building and the skin tones and the red hat. They're still being moved, but not nearly as much as when we use saturation. And that's because the saturation slider is an absolute slider. So moving it to negative 100 removes all of the saturation, while moving it to plus 100 pushes all of the colors to be fully saturated. If we compare 100% saturation, especially in the face and hat, to 100% vibrance, we can see that there really is a difference. Of course, both of these tools can be used together. If I wanted to decrease the overall vibrance of the image, taking down those greens and blues, but then want to increase the vibrance of the warmer colors, I can increase the saturation. Lightroom has a lot of additional tools that we can use to change colors in an image, including the color mixer, as well as point color, and color grading, all of which can be applied to the entire photo or selective areas, and which will be discussed in depth in other videos. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.